High-tech gadgets and uh, technologies were unveiled at this year's Consumer Electronics Show, showing the new trends that we can expect going forward in the consumer tech industry for a wrap-up of everything we got to see. Kim Jehe reports. From bendable television screens to dishwashing robots the size of humans, some 2,000 exhibitors from around the world display their eye-catching products. Smart homes, digital health, and AI dominated CES this year, as spending trends have shifted to people's home lives amid the pandemic. Aiming squarely at gamers, LG Display showed off its spendable 48 inch OLED TV that generates sound without speakers. Futuristic transparent panels for use in restaurants or at the foot of the bed also got plenty of attention. As well as promoting its micro LED and Neo QLED TVs, Samsung Electronics unveiled its new smart home devices, ranging from AI powered robotic vacuum cleaners that can spot and avoid obstacles, to human sized bot handy robots that can do daily chores, like pouring a glass of wine or placing dishes in the dishwasher. Another buzzing trend digital health. Partly because so many um, doctors had to start doing um, practicing telemedicine, and therefore there are more um, uh, technologies coming to be able to, you know, um, check for vital statistics from patients and things like that remotely. Omron launched a remote patient monitoring system for monitoring blood pressure at home. South Korean startup M2S debuted its VROR eye doctor using AI and VR techniques for eyesight checkups at home. Whatever the device may be, the common technology was AI. And you see AI built into everything that we do. It's in phones, it's in those kitchen gadgets, it's in our cars, it is transforming everything. I, I think that the true impact of AI on our lives hasn't even fully been embraced yet. Remember Neon? Samsung's artificial human is back, but this year more lifelike than ever before. But LG is not lagging behind with its own virtual human, Rea Kim, already a popular influencer with thousands of Instagram followers. Hey y'all, I'm Rea, a songwriter and DJ. Being a musician, you know, traveling is a big part of my life and inspiration. The digital venue of the expo remains live until mid-February for anyone who wishes to further explore the state-of-the-art products on display. Kim Zehi, Arirang News.